Well, here we are. As of March 8, 2023, the Gravity Falls Complete Series box set from Shout Factory has officially been discontinued. After a final major sale, the last batch of box sets were sold out on that same day and the listing on SF's website has also been removed. As of the recording of this video, there are still some sets available to buy on Amazon, but given the history of counterfeits on there, I'd be cautious. The GF box set's end marks the conclusion of a nearly 5 year long run in which fans were able to literally hold the summer in their hands, as what this one code on the box set said. But of course, not every fan could say that, for one reason or another. This can be either because you never were able to afford to buy the box set when it was still available, are only now finding about the box set either because you never knew about it when it was available or because you're a new fan watching this video long after afterwards and realizing that there was a box set, or maybe because you're one of the many international fans who never could get one because the set was region locked and so only available in Canada and the US of A. After all these years, finally, I have them all. Well, now that the box set is discontinued, I think it's time for me to share some long kept secrets about the box set that I've never really told, because to do so would have hampered box set sales when it was still being sold. If you've been longing to know how to watch the, what was on the box set, this video is for you. Now I know what you may be thinking, why buy the box set when you can just watch Gravity Falls on Disney Plus, and even if you want a physical copy, why not just buy one off eBay? It's not like it's gone forever in that sense, right? Well, here's the thing. Even though the show is on Disney+, Plus, it's not everything. What made the box set so special was not just the fact that you could say you physically owned all 40 episodes in the shorts, but also due to the ton of original content made for it. On all 40 episodes, for example, there was commentary featuring Alex Hirsch and various cast or guest crew members. In it, they talked about each episode, aspects of it, and shared behind the scenes info. There's something any fan should listen to at least once. Alongside the commentary, there's also the nearly two hour long documentary, One Crazy Summer, a look back at Gravity Falls. In it, Alex and the GF cast and crew talk about the history of the show from the very beginning and take us fans back to Gravity Falls' production, sharing stories and memories. You'll learn a ton from it about the show and aspects of not just it, but the team behind it and its timeless fandom. Alongside that, you've got a short documentary called The Hirsch Twins. In it, Alex and his twin sister Ariel talk about what growing up as twins was like and how they influenced Dipper and Mabel in many ways. Alongside that, there's an over hour long reel of deleted scenes from the show. If you can ignore the fact that it looks like it was filmed on a potato for some weird reason, you'll be in for some truly great deleted scenes from season 2. Some small ones, and some big ones. Beyond that, there's also countless easter egg clips for you to find via the various codes within the box set. These range from crew stories about various things they got up to, Brad Brig explaining how he composed the theme song, and even some certain demonic nacho stuff. For he's a jolly good fellow, he's pointy and scary and yellow. For he's a jolly good fellow, and he only has one eye. Plus there's a ton of old GF promos and extras that, Dis that aired on Disney XD at the time, back in the day. Needless to say, you're getting a lot for your money by buying this box set with stuff that Disney Plus subscribers will never get to see. So for that reason, there's the incentive to own the box set. But hold up, don't just head on eBay and hope you can find one from there. Now that the box set is sold out, it's gonna start costing a lot more. eBay scalpers, despite being the scum of the planet, know how to make a profit and already I've seen box sets go for crazy high amounts. It's insane. You can still probably find some cheap box sets for available right now still, but come the future, unless you're ready to pay $200 more or less, you won't likely be able to own a physical copy of the box set anytime soon, especially if you live outside of Canada or are neighbors to the south. But if you just want to watch the original stuff that is on the box set, then you're in luck, cause some of the GF fandom's best kept secrets are just how out there this box set content is. Starting with the commentaries, well, here's the thing. They're all on Spotify. They can be found as part of a series called Behind the Scenes of Gravity Falls, and have been up since 2018. All 40 commentaries and 3 bonus commentaries are easily able to be watched. No box set needed. And if you don't even have a Spotify account, you can still listen to them as they're available on various podcast sites like Apple Podcasts um, and more. As for the other box set exclusives, they're up on a small channel called The Gravity Falls. 
It's unknown who is behind this channel, but they teeter on seeming to be either a fan channel that posted the box set content or some official channel made by Shout Factory or Disney that is under the radar. I mean, these thumbnails these, these videos have look too professional to be, uh, be fan-made if you ask me. It's not impossible, but it's very well done for fan-made um, thumbnails. Plus, box set content seems to have a history of vanishing quickly off YouTube. I remember back in 2018 there were several channels that uploaded HD clips of all the exclusive things in the set. Apart from one, none of them lasted till the end of the year. This channel was made in June 2022 and is still up, so it's possible it's an official channel. That's not to say that one day in the future it could be gone, in which case this part of the video has not aged well, but as it is right now, this channel is the best place to watch the box set exclusives now that they're gone. The deleted scenes are also up on Vimeo, and in case the channel goes down, one of the channels that uploaded the box set clips in uh, 2018 is still up and has the documentary available in several parts. So suffice to say, the GF box set's exclusive content is still very much out there for all to hear, and it still will possibly be shared around even after this box set is now that it's gone. At this point, you may be wondering, why have I never just posted it all myself or made these facts aware sooner? Why did I wait till now to tell you all about this box set content still available online? Well, like I said, to do that would have hampered the sales of the Gravity Falls box set as people would have just watched these uploads instead of buying it. Plus that would have likely edged on legality as Shout Factory would have nuked this channel if I had done that. Hence why I only ever upload at least 3 minute long clips at the most of the box set commentary and why there have never been full clips on this channel, even now because anyone who did that back in the day has vanished most likely because of copyright. But there's another reason I did that too. It's because I wanted the Gravity Falls box set to succeed. Even if not every fan could get a copy, the more it's sold, the more it showed Disney that physical media and the exclusive content that can be made for it is worth the investment. From Gravity Falls' success, we could have seen other shows like Amphibia or even The Owl House get their own box sets, complete with commentaries, deleted scenes, and more that any fan could dream of. I wanted Gravity Falls box set to, to sell well so that it would not be the only box set for an, an original 2010s Disney cartoon out there. Of course now that Shout Factory is no longer making it, I have no more incentive to keep these secrets between me and the few fans who know. I do still hope that one day these other shows get their own box sets, but these days that's more likely a dream. I think the mindset at Disney that let Gravity Falls have a box set is no longer the one there anymore. But anyways, if you live in a country that never had access to the box set, you couldn't afford it or missed it, now's your chance. So go, listen to those commentaries, watch the documentary, see what deleted scenes never got into the episodes and relive the summer of 2012 with the Gravity Falls crew. Let the memories flood in again, let yourself relive Gravity Falls in a whole new way. I'm still so amazed we even got to have this box set for the show. Even when I joined the fandom in early 2017, fans were still hoping we'd get a box set. The hope was fading, but it still lingered. And I was there to see the box set be announced by Alex in March of 2018. And I was there to see it end too. It feels surreal, honestly. This box set was available for almost 5 years, longer than the show it was made for was on air for. It really helps visualize how long it's really been. I was in high school when the box set first came out. Now I'm nearing my final year of uni. It's been an incredible journey for this box set and the whole show. And although we may be bidding farewell to the box set, I hope it's not the last Disney cartoon that will be able to say it can let its fans hold the entirety of its show in their hands. There's still a charm to physical media that streaming can never replace. And so long as that's the case, I'll always hope that Gravity Falls' success isn't the end of that possibility for other shows, but the beginning for their chances to have a box set too. But with that said, that's the end of this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!